had an ice latte because they didn't have caramel frappes. And my god, it was the most dog water drink I've ever tasted in my life. I had to put car I had to ask for caramel to mask the taste of the underexpected espresso. I'm so sorry. For the, this. the underexpected this is espresso. Tragic. It was awful. I wanted to cry. At some point, I was like, this tastes like ass. And I started, threw it away. So. I wore my money. I'm Sag. And I would like some agua to replenish my palate while I watched another Jen and Numbers uh, match. I've seen this multiple times throughout all the locals here in New York City. Uh, it's winning Brooklyn and Waypoint, so I'm excited. I, I'm always, I always like seeing these guys kind of duke it out. They're two of our best players here in the city, so why not see who gets to like you know fight for it a little more? Yeah, it's honestly my first time seeing John Numbers get to play like this up on the commentator seat. Like I don't often look at his vods, but watching him play now, I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm very impressed. It's okay, near those numbers, it's okay. He don't be he don't be cooking in the the lab vods. Uh, numbers numbers plays mind games to uh, warm up. It's really funny. I like the I like the mind games. Of course. So we're starting over on TNC, which typically I like to see that stage more as like a Palu pick. Um, we we actually we of course ban everything else, and there's the header, getting getting Jen just out of here with a, with a quickness, and we have deep breathing still active. Yeah, with Palu up B, that recovery is kind of susceptible if you pick up on it. Especially at that angle, John Numbers was primed and ready with the headbutt to just kind of spike Jen on down. And John Numbers is just still a always finding reversals in these offstage scenarios, which is very incredible. I don't know how he does it. No, Numbers has just fine. I think Numbers is straight up fine tuning himself for so long that like he just kind of knows the most optimal moments for We Fit specifically uh, in, in certain situations because she has amazing out of shield options, you know? And she has fast, uh, fast attacks on the ground. She's great. Yeah, and I love how Jen made use of that teleport recovery to keep himself from overextending a bit, just kind of resetting his position at the ledge. But it don't mean a thing to John Numbers right now. Trying to play the mind game, still going on in with the Wii Fit. Really good neutral get up to just avoid harm's way from Jen right now. And he's still kind of currently trying to find himself back into this game right now. Jen just. Tapping in with a back air and just trapping him at the ledge, doing what Palu does best. And John kind of just mashing out his shield right now, just contorting his body all the way through it. <laughs> so Weefit does what she's a contortionist. She does yoga. She has to be able to do a lot of these really fancy moves, like like the like, did you, you know, back air. Why? Did you Why? See that? Yes. Use the crouch to low profile, low profile the uh, the grab. What is this? A fighting game? You think we do that here? You're hilarious. They are fighting and playing a game. So. You'll be right. Woo. Now, Hula Hoops is a very interesting move, and I've seen John Numbers get so much bang for his book uh, on recovering with the Hula because it stays out forever, and it kind of like two frames people just going for um, reversal, like edge guard attempts. Yeah, and it's. It's, that's that's why it's safe usually. Uh, if you get hit by it, you just get carried up with numbers, and that's how he sometimes uh, is able to dare you right off of it, off of the conversion of the hit. It's great. At least for we fit, not for everyone else. That's yeah. why it's very scary when people do deep dig, uh, dig down when they try to uh, get numbers. Hula Hoop saves him most of the time. Wow, crouch. Yeah, John Numbers knows how to make really good use of those crouches, just kind of extending out the background. I love that Sun Salutation movement to just get the empty hop gra or the empty grab. But Jen is just shaving off that stuff with a dash attack, and now he's looking to take John Numbers up in the air train right now. Air dodging back into his arms. Air train? Let me go to JFK. <laughs> We're going all the way up all the up airs. And John Numbers running at him straight ahead with the Kaioken, looking to do that damage and take a stock off of Jen to close out this first game. Dash attack sliding in on in sliding in there, doing the damage, and really covering that neutral or that getup attack right there. John Numbers still be trapping, but Jen still uh, Jen is chasing really fishing for the end of this kill. Which they, they he absolutely could at eighty four percent with something like like we fit on this platform. If you're able to get an extension off the top platform around the edges right there, the left one, Jen can take this game like like heavily. Oh, nice on numbers just to air dodge away from where number, where Jen was expecting him to go. Wow, oh that's tough. God. That's Thought. tough. I didn't even see that F tilt come out. That's how fast it was. Yeah, Jen wanted the pivot F tilt or not the pivot, the pivot grab, but he kind of just. Messed it. I don't know how this whiffed.
Like he had it, and then oh Whoa, no, John yeah, just rolled wait, through. Yeah, okay, yeah, roll, John, John just rolled, rolled through it. Yeah, because okay. we fit. Yeah, yeah. We wow. We fit roll so far, bro. Her roll is is really long, like compared to a lot of the other other people in the cast, way longer than you expect it to be for no reason. Okay, but I see we're rocking it back to yep. Town City. Why not? The, nigger, the music is banger. We got live music playing right now. Mm -hmm. And it's Saturday, so that means KK Slider is here yes, to give so a show for everybody. Accurate, yeah. And here's the lead that, that Jen is, was really wanting the first game. And now, if he's able to maintain his lead by not allowing numbers to really fish for deep breathing in the way that he's comfortable uh, doing so, Jen should be kind of rocking up this stock, wrapping up this stock relatively soon. And Jen just keeping John pressured with the up airs right now. Forward air just setting him up in the corner right now. Looking to take things with the back air. But covers the roll on in with the grab. But John Numbers is getting the reversal right now. Just tacking on that damage. Getting the good old <gasps> jab, jab block. block. And getting the roll in on in, baby. I can't... That, that was just good on Numbers for... You know what? But also, it felt so safe. Remember what I was saying about where it has a back hit and a front hit? Uh, I'm sure that had Jen rolled um, technically in, uh, they would have been just fine. You know? That's so important. Jen, that rolled, happened to Jen twice back. today. That's the second yeah. time today. When will he learn? It's just people are reading, just reading the roll. Probably the most other position is to go behind. But we forget that numbers, or at least numbers, has a. We fit has two hitboxes on a lot of her moves. You know? But it's not too much of a deficit that Jen has to deal with. Now Jen has a percentage lead. Same, uh, thankfully a same stock situation. So, and Numbers doesn't have deep breathing right now. It's always a plus. Yeah, but the percent is kind of racking up on his side right now. And Jen is keeping John in the corner right now. But John is just shifting through it all and getting a forward throw to put Jen in a very favorable position. Not quite getting the grab on in there and he's going to find himself back at the ledge, but we are keep we keep on trading positions. It's like the roll reversal just happening over and over. They beat your own soccer ball. They really do. The soccer ball just lingers out there for so long. And it's like actually yep, there we go. Nice. Uh, that Nair one, just up tilt, solid kill confirmed that Palu has in the back pocket. Jen, we definitely know he has these unlocked. And the Nair is going to be clipping the shield right now. It's all aboard the Nair train right now. I'm trying to call out a jump with the forwarder, not quite getting it. And John is putting himself in the corner again to just get the Kaioken, stall himself with the ball, get some damage on in. So actually charge up that Sun Salutation as well. And this, this is the exact lead that Jen really needed. I'm lo I, I want to mention, like, Numbers thought he was safe by uh, by crouching so low that he thought that Jen would be able to get him. But Nair into up tilt was just the, the confirm the confirm that Jen was looking for against Numbers. And this also the lead and percentage that Jen needed, even though that he did just lose the second stock right now, with zero percent to his name and eighty five percent to Numbers is, and also deep breathing is slowly going away. We should be seeing a oh no I'm sorry this is Sun Citation being charged up, but now we have deep breathing underway. Yep, and Jen with a really good parry, not gonna mean a thing because. There's pretty safe on shield. John Numbers having these confirms a lot. Stop it. Just okay. trying to go for the air dodge read with the F smash. Not quite getting it. And Jen just closing out this first, uh, mm -hmm. this second game with a back air. And just doing a really nice, clean, easy. We're going to finish out with a back air. And that's really it. Oh my god. I'm thirsty. Right, I got you. Hold on. Thank you so much. The, they make me talk for so long. Jen, because there's so much to talk about with Jen and Numbers and the and, uh, way that they want to play this game and what's going on in their heads, especially because like, you know that they're fishing for certain setups or certain um, pair, parts of the stage they want to really dominate. Yes, Kalos. Let's go, Finally, Kalos. I see it. Kalos. I love seeing Kalos. I like. I think Kalos is a good stage. I don't care. It's a great stage. It's so good. I, I love, love Kalos. Stage. Now, would you say? Uh, actually, whose pick was this? Um, whoever it John's it was, pick, right? John's. Yeah. Because we banned FD in small battle food, and John usually likes going to small battle food. He, he believes it's the best stage in, the, in ice in this rule set, probably in the game. Uh, pillar stage is definitely a super big uh, buff to Wii Fit because yeah. she can just hug the wall and like it's like, oh, try and spike me. I I teched it and I hit you instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying that Jen had banned uh, those two, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jen got around to small battle field mm -hmm. and FD, which 
He knows yeah. what he loves. Usually John goes to a small battle food whenever he can. Yeah. But Kalos is also really good for refit for the reasons that Devin just uh, stated. I'm not super sure if John would have opted for FD. I don't think so. Yeah, but... I think he would rather have opted for, like, PS2 rather than FD, if anything. Well, I, I mean, mean FD Kalos. was out of the count, so... No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't know if getting rid of FD, like, if he didn't Did get rid of FD, would John have picked it? I don't necessarily I don't think, think so. so. But it's all right. Jen's just... Jen's just showing that, like, like I keep saying, Palu does very well with these platforms that aren't actually on the stage, I would say. They're more towards yeah, more like the last side, you know, where you can just jump and retreat off of. Yeah, and I think number, I'm sorry, uh, Jen's super, super well up at catching people on those platforms and really attending off of his combos and making you go into blast zone, like, for sure, for sure. Uh, so going into Kalos, I know it's very good for Wii Fit. However, I know Jen is so adept at these platforms that it's almost like, what, what's, what's going to happen here against these two? Nice, just catching with the with the raw back here, I believe. It was very close. Yeah, I think so. Maybe start this. Yeah, and Jen is starting to do some work on John numbers right now. Certainly racking up those numbers with the Nair train just coming out to play online. And now he's at a yeah. really good position to just be trapping at the ledge right now. But John just dates it all around the team. We got the roll in. We got the roll John's, back out. Why did oh, John go for the grab now. Jen like that, yo? It's like you were saying, he's all about the mind games. He's like, John's mind like, what games. is he doing? What is he doing? My, my personal doing? favorite numbers mind game is when he just stands there while you do like, while you're, while you're, while you're just throwing out empty like hitboxes. It's really funny. He just stands there so menacingly. Just standing there. Menacingly. menacingly. And now Jen is still setting himself up in the corner right now to just potentially take this John number stock right now. Down until intercepting the baller and uh, catching that stalling. And Jen is just kind of. Um, Giving John the space to just come on in just like that, just jumping through the ledge and just trying to get that space back. Because against Wii Fit planking, he kind of doesn't have a lot of answers. He can just respect that space and just let him have it. Yeah. Not even, not even a scoop of up to what actually was, was able to get numbers. Numbers planking is so, so smart off of, off of him. But look at this. Look at this. Look, Jen ahead in the game right now. Ice and percentage and stock. We're going to be adding up more percentage as we speak. We're getting double. We're going to do triple. Nah, numbers often to recover really, sorry, really, really high there to avoid a third up air. And John numbers, I believe with the deep breathing online right now, could be a sun, oh, definitely going away, but sun salutation charge in the back pocket right now. There yep. we go. It's finally coming out, getting that B reverse in. But Jen is still having some really good pressure, but... John Numbers still just always finding these reversals when I least expect it. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Numbers has been forced to recover very hor uh, very vertically on the stage. Very good for him anyway. Probably wasn't even a problem for him in the first place. And Numbers gained this this uh, this stock uh, back to one to one. But now he has allowed himself he has allowed himself to be trapped in the corner where Jen is going to be fishing for that back air. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 yeah, Palu bum, just having one of those backers in this game where you can kind of just spam that move until your opponent goes down. It's like, it's not even that committal, but actually this backer right there, that was kind of crazy because he, he had the get up on lock. He's like, okay, boom. I love that. Sorry, I was drinking hella water. <laughs> That was perfect. He got the jump too. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. As I'm saying, pa Paolo will be fishing for that uh, that backer off the stay off the ledge because she knows that you're going. Well, I'm sorry, Jen. I keep doing that with wherever you're playing a character off. You're gonna call him that wherever you're, the dangerous the, the, the character is. But Jen is gonna be fishing for that. It's something very easy that Paolo can do. Can land and back air is so uh, so, so optimal option for her anyway. So Jen and Jen knows this with his character. Yeah, and they are having quite the scrap fest at the ledge here. John Numbers is racking up that damage against Jen right now. Keeping him off with the back here. Frame 6, by the way. Very fast move out of shield. Yep. And Jen is just right back to playing to his strengths at the corner against John. Tapping in the auto radicals to just intercept the stalling in progress. But John, Yo, these I hitboxes stay up forever. I think I think the playing on a ledge was a little, a little bit too much because eventually numbers will scrap on the ledge and he will likely win just because we has so many so many hard, hard hitting options header there and hula hoop also being so safe 
super, super difficult to kind of contest him on a ledge like that. Ay, Gonyo, you got your, your up smash, bro. That's your no. favorite move. Yeah, I love that tap to pressure ah, on shield. That's funny. And we are still catching these rolls with the up smash coming out. Yes, you caught the roll with the up smash as you should. Let's go. Oh, and, oh that was a very interesting spike. Mm -hmm. But Jen is still chilling right here, able to get his near combos just going off to the double there. But John Numbers just tapping in that Sun Salutation to get a little percentage back. Get a lot of damage up on Jen right now, sitting up at 104. And he's forcing Jen to kind of just approach, approach right now with the balls. He's able to find his opening with the jabs, kind of just uh, keeping him back at the ledge over here. But he's going to be whipping that grab, and John Numbers going to be doing some work over here. And we're just staying there very patiently, waiting for the most optimal option, clearly being fair against Jen, and it works out beautifully for him. We're going to be keeping that momentum going while Numbers continues to have deep breathing active and actually shooting through the up smash and getting Jen in a really good uh, situation for Numbers by grabbing him. But now uh, Jen is going to be fishing for another up air. Yes, that platform essential, I'm telling you, is so good for Paulu. Gotta love it. He's just able to quickly work himself to just get up there, find those kills when he has to, just right up in the corner. And uh, this is not too this is not too bad for Jen right now. It's a very even game right now. Can definitely uh, make this, but John numbers with the deep breathing. Few interactions from Wii Fit, and uh, it can be a game five we're looking at. Oh, absolutely. These two can take to a game five any day of the week. If Jen keeps up to keep up this momentum that he's been having for the past two games, though, at least past two games like he's won. This is clearly going to be a really good advantage state for him, especially if he's able to kind of keep numbers on the ledge where he's most uncomfortable against Paulu in a sense. Like, not literally, because uh, numbers are so good on the ledge anyway, but Paulu yeah. just catches things so easily with back air. And he has to watch out for John's planking because it is his worst enemy, and he will most likely win. And he finally gets the pivot grab, having that good old Marf range to just grab him, do some damage in. And uh, things are running pretty scary right now. John with a um, Jen with a really good F tilt to just push John to the ledge right now. Gonna have to do very well nice. to just call him out. Finally getting that pivot grab. No rolls here to just throw a wrench in those plans. And I know Jen's finally gaining these pivot grabs more consistently and possibly gaining the up tilt. At oh, can yeah. I get a zoom in on the controller throw? Of course. Interesting. This is uh, what we live for. That's this. This is what. Respectfully, numbers. I love you and all, but I, I look forward to when you do sometimes, because sometimes you just be like throwing the controller like in the most perfect ratio ever. So here's the winning question. Just caught the roll that Jumbo was going for. Paul was gonna go for a roll into F tilt, and Jen caught it with <laughs> the controller throw. <laughs> the controller throw. Yeah, but I feel like you can't be mad. The at The controller, that, you know? more like the controller toss. The toss. Like a little light, little toss. Like, no, it's not. There's, there's well, one time I think he like he like threw, he actually uh, threw, throw it. No, not throw it, but he like toss it into the air a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, like just. Uh, and it like formed like the perfect like go to ratio. Dude, and we drew it. I and think, it was so good. I feel like I've seen that clip before. It's so good. I was like, guys, look, it's a go to ratio. And then the numbers is wrist. The it was beautiful, beautiful. It's just he has that down pack. Bop, bop, bop. I'm done.